So I have my phone here and I have the card. And so with the phone, I could go to my camera and then I could look at the QR code on the card. And when I tap on it, I can go to open it in Safari and it takes me to the analog AR website where it shows me how it works, shows me a little bit more information about it, setting up in terms of the unboxing, attaching the padding, everything. Gives you a little bit of information on the creation of it. If you're interested in development, it allows you to go to the online courses that have been made for the development of it, as well as a developer kit for the Unity game engine so that you could create your own experiences with the analog AR headset in mind. And then there's also pre-existing experiences that are out there. Regardless of if it's made by me or by other creators, I'm a really big fan of promoting augmented reality experiences that other people have created and making them available for people because that's one of the reasons why I created Analog AR. There's a lot of book augmented reality experiences specifically that people can tap into fresh out the gate. I've provided Island Fever issue zero and some bookmarks to start off with, but if you have other stuff in mind, you can definitely engage in those as well. So we have Island Fever Augmented Reality, we have Flossen Augmented Reality, we have Masters of the Sun by Marvel and the Black Eyed Peas, we have Prosthetic Reality, and we have IJack by Sutu, we have Bravest Warrior, we have Neon Wasteland and Neon Wasteland Part 2, and my new favorite, the Arkham Asylum Files Batman Augmented Reality Game. I will be adding more to this collection as I continue to test more and continue to promote the analog AR headset and the possibilities that it can have with creating different things. So again, you know, be sure to not lose this because this is your gate ticket. But even if so, you're able to just go to analogar.com and you're able to see some amazing stuff as well.